Hello everyone and uh, welcome to the first topic for grade 10 physical sciences. We're going to be looking at mechanics for today's video. So let's dive straight into the lesson. So to begin, what is mechanics? All right, now from the notes taken that are, that are appearing on your screen right now, mechanics is the study of motion and the forces that cause the motion, okay? So just to repeat that, mechanics, first of all, is the study of motion, all right? And the causes, all right, or the forces that cause the motion. Okay, now examples of motion, all right, include very basic examples such as walking, all right, jogging, cycling, or driving a car, even flying an airplane, all right, those things all involve, all right, forces that cause motion, all right, and all in all, all right, they form part of motion. Okay, that's very, very simple and straightforward to understand. Now, just to outline the uh, topics in mechanics that we'll be looking for or looking at uh, for grade 10, okay, for the purpose of this video, we will be focusing only on the first one, physical quantities, looking at vectors and scalars, the rest, motion in one dimension, in one dimension and mechanical energy will be covered in the videos that follow on from this one. Right, so physical quantities. So we distinguish between two groups of physical quantities, namely scalar and vector quantities. Okay, so we have, okay, scalar, right? And then all the way over here, we have vector. Sounds like a name of a person. <laughs> okay, we have vector. Okay, so scalar, and then we also have factor. Okay, now uh, to outline a couple of examples before we get to the uh, to the to the notes. All right, so scalar. All right, first of all, we can. I'm going to denote some examples before I give the the definition for uh, either one. So scalar is some for something. For example, would be speed. All right, distance. Okay, all right, uh, something such as mass, all right? How heavy are you? How heavy is an object? Or a vector, on the other hand, okay, if we will be a velocity. All right, the cousin of speed. A displacement. The cousin of distance, and then of course weight. All right, weight, which is the cousin, the older cousin of mass. All right. Now, just to un uh, make something a little bit more clear for everybody, there is a difference, okay, between mass and weight. Unfortunately, in society today, we use the uh, words interchangeably or simultaneously. Okay, for example, mass is measured, okay, and this is in your notes, but I will clear it up here. Mass is measured in kilograms, all right, where, and so grams, but more kilograms in physics, okay, and uh, weight is measured in newtons, all right. So if someone had to ask you, how much do you weigh, you would literally have to take your, if you have to take your mass, Right, so my weight is my mass times by my gravity. All right, gravity, which is 9.8 times uh, or 9.8 meters uh, squared. All right. Okay, but if you had to ask someone, uh, what is your mass? Then I would say, well, I'm 83 kilograms. That's how heavy I am. So I thought I'd just unclear that as a side note for this video. Okay. Right, let's dive straight into the differences between scalar and vector quantities, starting with the scalar quantity. Now, the definition for a scalar quantity is it is a physical quantity with magnitude only and no direction. 
Okay, so magnitude, which is another fancy word for size. Okay, and over here in the table, we have examples. I'm not going to go through all the details. All right, because I mentioned a few on the previous slide. The ones I didn't mention was time and temperature. All right, so that's a scalar quantity. Now, a vector quantity, on the other hand, it is a physical quantity again, but this time it has both magnitude and direction. So, for examples, for the ones that I did not mention, force. Force is always exerted in a particular direction. The force of gravity going down, all right, is going down towards the ground or into the earth, all right? Um, and acceleration. Acceleration also has a direction. Okay, perfect. So those notes are available for you in this video for you to go back to and refer to and to study the examples as well as pay attention to the symbols as well as the units of measurement, please. Okay, now the next section, the difference between scalar and vector quantities. Now, for the purposes of calculation questions, scalar quantities, if they are added up, only the algebraic sum of the numerical values is determined. So just like a normal sum down here, if you had seven, all right, just like if you had seven apples, all right, plus eight apples, you'd get an answer of 15 apples, all right? Same way with uh, scalar quantities. In the example mentioned here in the slide, the mass of two objects, A and B, are seven kilograms respectively. We just add their masses and we get an answer of 12 kilograms. What we must, however, pay attention to is if uh, more vectors, two or more vectors are added up, okay, we must also take into consideration the directions each, and each one is going.